nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you the god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So today, when it comes to macOS 14 Sonoma, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple has released the developer beta 3. And for me on my MacBook Pro, you can see that this update came in at exactly 2.11 gigs, and I was updating from the previous beta 2. To this current latest beta 3. Now the download size did increase to 3.35 gigs and that was quite a substantial jump. Right here you can see when it comes to the storage that macOS is occupying it's taking 19.31 gigs so pretty much average nothing abnormal from the previous version. If we go into general and go to software update you'll be able to see the build number that we finally have on this developer beta 3 and you can see it there it's 23A5286G so beta 2 had a G at the end and this update as well has a G so in terms of stability we haven't really jumped anything but then from beta 1 to beta 2 we actually jumped a number of steps which was we went from a q to a g so that was like a 10 step jump and beta 3 has seems to be more of an update that's going to be washing out bugs and issues now this is not all that apple released today in fact if we go to the Apple developer page right here you can see some of the software or, or operating systems that have been released and today we have iOS 17 beta 3 as well as iPad OS 17 beta 3 Mac OS 14 beta 3 of course this is the video for that and then there is this device support for Mac OS 14 beta 3 and then of course we have watch OS 10 beta 3 and TV OS 17 beta 3 if we go to the application tab here and go to view downloads unfortunately if you look under this um, xcode beta 3 for vision os there really hasn't been an update it still is vision os beta 1 so this one for some reason is delayed but then that makes sense because the apple vision pro headset isn't coming out until next year but most of these updates that we are talking about today are coming out later in the fall according to apple now let's talk about some of the new changes and updates that are here with mac os 14 beta 3 the first one are the widgets you can see here now widgets are working and previously with beta 2 it did break widgets and it removed widgets that were not on that were not coming from an iphone that was updated to ios uh, 17 beta 2 so with this one we are able to interact and use iphone widgets as well if you don't see your widgets you can go into your system preferences and then go to desktop and dock and if you go to the widget tab here you see this section that says use iphone widgets make sure that this is turned on and you should be able to see your iphone widgets and there seems to be still with this beta 3 there seems to be like a compatibility issue you have to update your iphone first to the latest ios 17 beta 3 or whatever beta is out and then you update your mac and then that way the widgets are able to synchronize in a good way otherwise you might experience some issues next when it comes to this i'll be happy to let you know that the safari version has been updated as well so if we go here you can see the version is 17 and the build number which is the one that has been updated is 1916.1.2 20.11.3 and before that it was actually 19616.1.1.7.11.4 so it's slight incrementation and it's just more to do with stability and then if you go into your system settings and you go to where it says privacy and security and you go to location services some of these it seems like when you update to the latest mac os developer beta it toggles some of these on and some are turned off and among those if you click here you actually be able to see system services if you click there you notice that significant location is turned on I didn't turn it on so you might want to check your settings after you update to the latest macOS beta version now also with this update it did 
update some video codecs so if you're having issues especially when you are exporting sony xvac formats then you might want to check again as beta 3 resolves some of the issues that were being experienced on beta 1 and beta 2 and with this update there seems to be some pop-up screen that seems to deprecate api notifications for various applications and google chrome was among some of the updated or some of the affected applications so you might want to check a few of your apps and when it comes to this update the developer page has actually been updated so if you were to go to your developer page and you try and sign out or sign in you now have the option to actually sign in using your iphone and this is a newer method that was there on the previous update but since i had not mentioned it you can see here you have pass key from a nearby device and this will generate a qr code that you can actually scan with your iphone and you'll be able to sign in which is something that's good now Another thing that's here or that has been fixed with this update has to do with continuity camera. So this is FaceTime that I had opened up right here. And with the previous beta one and beta two seem to be a little bit better, but beta three is even better. Seems to me like continuity camera has been resolved. So right now the camera that you're seeing is this one here it's my sony camera but if i was to go into the video section and select my iphone 14 pro i'll hold it like this you see my iphone so right here you can see that this is no longer freezing like what we had before it's actually continuous which is something that's good and if you were to click here and try and zoom in or zoom out you can see that you are able to do that and the and the signal is not degrading and it seems like the delay has been fixed with this which is something that's good with this update it does seem to trigger the presentation pop-up screen that has to do with parallels desktop so that seems to be a bug that's affecting this and when it comes to this update we do have some new pop-up screen for the home app so these are some of the accessory control widgets that are now here and you have a new look and feel and activity history those are the pop-up screen that the home app has to mention and another fix that's here with this update is that if you use it to open pdf documents those are now opening and are more stable so if you are using a default or a third party application this update does make it a little bit smoother when it comes to some of the release notes about this update you can see that they do actually mention a number of issues and bugs so even though it seems to be getting a little bit stable compared to the previous beta it does have a number of issues you can see even continuity camera is having issues so i wouldn't recommend you update to this mac os beta as of yet if it's your main device that you rely on but on a positive note most of the applications that i use like ecamm live final cut pro and photoshop those ones I like I mentioned on my video of whether you should be updating to Mac OS 14 or not they were taking almost upwards of 45 seconds to open but now with beta 3 it's almost instant and that is a positive and this is how this update has been for me on my macbook pro let me know what you think about this video and if you're going to be updating or not but that's my take on it and uh, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video peace it don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pan. I make the